Welcome back to Colbert on Golf, presented by Midland Exteriors. Jim rejoins us in just a moment, but I wanted to take a couple of moments to talk about a news conference that took place in Kansas City this week with the Digital Ally Open. It's part of the Web.com tour. They had former Kansas State golfer Aaron Watkins in for the news conference. He's a mainstay on the Web.com tour, trying to work his way to the PGA Tour. This event's doing well in Kansas City. They're starting to get good corporate sponsorship. They added a couple more sponsors this week, and they're hoping to get to a point where it's sponsored financially enough anyway that it will be televised on Golf Channel. It's not yet one of the Web.com televised events, but they're working toward that. So things are looking up in Kansas City with the Digital Ally Open. It's August 3rd through the 9th at the Nicholas Golf Club at Lionsgate in Overland Park. Tickets available online if you want to go to DigitalAllyOpen.com. They're a local company in Kansas City that provides uh, cameras for police officers, personal uh, personal cameras. You know the body cams they're talking about? That's what Digital Ally does. It's a growing company in Kansas City, and they've stepped up. They're big golf fans, and they're hooked up with the Digital Ally Open, part of the Web.com Tour. So here's Aaron Watkins. He played at Kansas State. He's out on the Web.com Tour trying to get to the PGA Tour, and he says every time you just go play a tournament, it feels the same no matter where you are. There's not a lot of difference between the, the players out on the PGA Tour and the players here. Obviously, the top... 10 to 15 out there or in kind of a league of their own. But, um, you know, the last couple of years they've shown that year after year there's been plenty of players that come straight from here that go out there and start winning. So uh, the quality of play definitely is very good out here and just look forward to getting my chance back out there again. One thing that it seems to have happened over the last few years is the PGA Tour is becoming even more of a destination for players around the world. As uh, players from Europe are taking status on the, the PGA Tour and using it, some of them, end up having to go back to Europe, but you see it, it, it's become much more of a world tour than, than it used to be, and that makes it that much more difficult to go up and stay, right? You know, it, it makes it even that more difficult just to get a start. Um, you know, they, they with Europe coming over and, and playing a lot more tournaments, um, I think I think the average uh, web.com player used to get 18 and 19 starts, and now they're getting 13 to 14. So, it's already hard enough staying up there as it is, getting 19 starts, but when you take away opportunities, it makes it that much harder. Aaron Watkins from the Web.com Tour. He'll be playing in Kansas City at the Digital Ally Open August 3rd through the 9th, Nicholas Golf Club at Lionsgate. Jim Colbert rejoining us now to talk a little bit about it. Jim, the tour, Web.com Tour is doing very well in Kansas City. What are your thoughts about the way this is all working out? Well, Kevin, from what I understand, uh, they've got a permanent sponsor now with, with a contract, which they never had a major sponsor. They had some tier sponsors at, at different levels, which really should secure the financial side of it because I'm sure they'll uh, maintain a lot of the other sponsors as tier sponsors. And, you know, the Web.com Tour is your entree to the PGA Tour. This, it, it's better than AAA baseball. I mean, some of these guys could go on the tour and qualify and be on the circuit, but all the qualifying now is for the web.com, and you have to go through the web to get on the regular tour. And it, Actually, the web is really good, I think, for the young American pros because the European pros or the pros from the rest of the world, if they're already exempt in some other tour, they're not going to come over here and go to a qualifying school to play a secondary tour. So it'll give the Americans more of a chance uh, to participate on the regular PGA Tour, which all the world needs from the rest of the world is the star. And they already have entree to the PGA Tour. So I think it makes a lot of sense, and I'm telling you, it's really, really good golf. And if the fans get a chance to come out and see it, uh, they'll be surprised. I mean, these guys can really play golf. They can. I was fortunate enough a couple of years ago to play in a pro-am with Jamie Lovemark, and he went on to win the tournament here in Kansas City a couple of years ago. And on Friday, <laughs> this past Friday at the U.S. Open, he was in ninth place at the U.S. Open. He was right up there on the leaderboard. It's amazing how many players go from playing here at Lionsgate, the web.com, to seeing them playing not just on tour, but in major championships. They're having real success. Oh, I mean, it's, uh, it is a great, great proving ground. And if you look at basically a year-long qualifying process, you're going to get the best players, aren't you, rather than 72 or 144 holes. Uh, you're going to get the best players uh, under this process because, you know, you can't hide for a year. Right. You know, it's hard to be just lucky for a year. 
you, you know, eventually you got to be pretty darn good. And it's it's different than college golf. It's different than a lot of things with these young guys. It, it kind of teaches you how to play on tour, doesn't it? Don't you learn how to win on this tour? Well, it, it, it teaches you how to play on the tour in the sense that, I mean, first of all, pal, you got to beat half of them. you got to make the cut. So if you don't make the cut, you're done on Friday. You know, your next tournament's on Thursday. you got to play your practice. What do you do over the weekend? You know, you got enough money to go home and spend a couple of days? Probably not. You know, you, you probably get in your car and go to the next one, see if they'll let you on the golf course, find a place to practice, different hotels every week, uh, eat out, you know, months at a time. Uh, that's a big thing. I mean, I know, you know, I don't talk about old times, but my first year on the circuit, uh, I went 11 weeks twice without ever going home or Marsha coming out or anything. That was, that was 22 weeks on the first year uh, of out there being by myself. And the wife and kids at home by themselves. Well, they weren't by themselves. They were living with my folks and her folks. But that, that life determines a lot about what kind of golfer you're going to be. Talking about the Digital Ally Open, August 3rd through 9th here in Kansas City at Lions Gate. Jim Colbert with us when we come back on Colbert on Golf. Andre Iguodala, the finals MVP in the NBA last week, is going to play Augusta National, apparently. He was on Jimmy Kimmel Live last night talking about that. We'll talk with the pro and have some fun with Jimmy Kimmel, Andre Iguodala. That's coming up next here on Colbert on Golf. You're listening to Colbert on Golf. Built by Midland Exteriors. Online at MidlandExteriors.com. Midland Exteriors. We've thought of everything.